me to bring to you for the policy manual so I guess unless there's any questions I would ask that you would approve the changes and I'm open to any questions that you would have um, <clears throat> I made it about halfway through 
that I'm working on the last half now. So. Any discussion? Didn't we, uh, wasn't we going to have a workshop, another workshop on that? After he brought them to us, we were supposed to go over? We can do that. Yeah. Well, you, was that before the mayor? The, the Bob, yeah, but Bobby asked me to bring, Yeah. when we had that, that meeting on the Monday, he asked me to bring what I could bring to him the next meeting, and that's what I did. And then, of course, I wasn't able to make it, so. Uh, you only brought it to him? No, I gave it to John to put in all of your packets. Okay. It's been too many beings ago, probably. <laughs> well, I thought we discussed it, and we were going to look them over, but I don't think, I don't think we've ever discussed it, if I remember right. Yeah, we just talked you know, to topic on it. Didn't really. I asked him to bring what his changes, what he wanted. Right. The council, to my knowledge, we've never talked about the council. I said it was a meeting I missed. Uh, yeah. Then I suggest that we hold off on approving the changes at this time. Chief Saylor, if you could, um, you said you're about halfway through it. Perhaps it would be best to wait until you're all the way through it and then schedule a workshop and sit down and go through the changes. Okay, I'll be all the way through it by the next meeting. Okay. Would you like to schedule a workshop before the next meeting? Or would you like to schedule I'd like one to, I'd after? I'd like to have a workshop after the papers are here. Um, when Chief Saylor gets it finished, I'll have him get with Jonna and we will stand up and get workshop scheduled. You need for an executive session? Yes, an executive session. Um, I think 10 minutes would be enough with the council and mayor for personnel. So moved. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Chief, did you have a report? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I got an email from Armies. The truck is supposed to be in at the end of May. Of course, they told us the middle of April the first time, so I'm not really holding my breath. But um, And as far as the truck goes, I'd like to go ahead and get the uh, light bar ordered. Um, it's going to cost around $200 uh, for the one I would like to order. Um, and then I need approval to purchase some uniform pants because Aaron had a zipper blowout or two, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'll move to approve the light bar and the pants or whatever you need. Didn't we do that when we bought the pickup pad? Approve the light bar? Yeah. No, we just, no. We, we had discussed it, but I had never, <coughs> never came back with an, and actually asked. You, you, just, you described it to us. You said it just plugs in, the switches right. are on the cord, there's no hard wiring to be done. Yep. And there, do you have the numbers? I mean, it, it was it was 199.99 even. Okay, I mean, I don't. So all of these purchases are under your. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah. And then. Really need approval. I was also made aware of. Uh, we had had Motorola um, just south of Great Men doing our wiring and stuff before. Um, there's a company called Basex on on North uh, North Main, I believe, in Great Men that does a lot of like vehicle stereos and stuff, but they've also got into the upfitting of patrol vehicles. Um, and I was uh, a deputy in Barton County and told me that their prices were significantly cheaper than, than a radio shop and turnaround time was a lot a lot better. So um, I will try before next meeting, I'll try to get some kind of an estimate because I would like to just take the truck straight from Armies to there to have everything put in and then we'll be ready to go. So it's coming together, it's just a matter of time. Okay, we have a motion on the table. Yeah, but I'll retract my motion. It's under a spending limit as well. Okay. That's all I have. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Bob Steinitz had asked for a five minute executive session at this point in time. Motion to that effect. So moved. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Seniors come over and was asking about some improvements. Uh, let's have people look at it as far as the building as, as a whole. And then uh, the front of it, as far as uh, something that can be done, I talked to a local contractor, we only have one, two local guys that do this kind of work. And, uh, 
like I said, or said he could probably get it worked in before it's too late. So he's actually already started on it, and the reason I'm bringing it up twofold is that uh, one, the, the original price he gave me, and he ran into an issue, it was within my spending limit, but he ran into an issue, which happens sometimes. He had a little more uh, damage as far as foot in the columns up there, so it exceeded my spending limit. The other thing is, is the uh, Whip, Whip Memorial Fund is set up to uh, to cover costs like that. And right now, John tells me we have like $14,000 in that fund available to spend on that building. So uh, the uh, price uh, went from $1,880.70, additional $370, which uh, brings it to $2,200. $58.70. So I would like permission to go ahead and pay for this repair out of the uh, Wood Memorial Fund. So moved. Okay. Second. Is there any further discussion? It, it, it is okay to take that out of Yes. That's what it's in. It's, a, it's in there. And I visit with the seniors. They're, they're happy with what we've done. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Uh, next item I had on here was a swimming pool manager and a uh, 10-minute executive session. Mayor Jonah, yeah. you can. And uh, I'll put it on here. Uh, okay. All right. Second. So moved. Is there any discussion? Oh. Oh. Good. <laughs> Welcome to my All office. Is Pool for 2013 season at 42.50. Salary. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Um, I'll move to pay increase all lifeguards to minimum wage. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. We have also talked about um, an additional quarter per hour for the assistant manager to kind of keep it in line with the lifeguards. Do I have a motion? So so moved. Moved. Yes. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. The next item I had was uh, Fourth Avenue interest beautification. I think we have a representative here, Jill. Are you going to talk about that? Yes, I just wanted to ask council. I know Sherry's new on the council, so and Julia and Mayor. We talked about Amy Collins and I doing some flower planting, some bushes, something out there besides dead stuff to make it look a little better. And we had, I think when we talked about it, we had a minimum of $500 on there. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not going to come close to that. But I definitely want to put a figure on there for you. And then also, too, we talked about maybe putting a flagpole behind each one of them. Um, possibly not this year, but if so, I will bring that to your attention. If it all works out, I'm pretty sure the welding shop could probably help this out. And also, too, I talked to Mel about getting some water out there. So it would be much easier watering the flowers and bushes to try to keep them alive. Um, he said we'd have to do some boring, and he talked to Kevin about that. So um, Kevin or Mel can tell you how much Kevin said that would be. We're looking at 400. Four Street there, around eight hundred dollars to do that, and then put in a uh, in a water meter and you know, hydrant out there, so they can they can water. So. so I just wanted to make sure that that was okay, because which side of the road does? Go ahead. No, you're fine. Go ahead. Which side of the road does it go to the roadside park? Where's that come off at? Roadside parks. First Street. It's, it's on 31st Street. Yeah, there's, there's 
there's water on the north side there, but there's there, there are water mains over there. There's no no place to get water, so we have to really make two two places. But we we'll have to bore underneath the four streets so we can have the water on both sides. So. And I think Amy knows her flowers and bushes well enough to know that what we could plant where it's going to look nice, you know, from spring till fall time. And then we can always do our mums and our pumpkin decoration in the fall time as well. So I just wanted to make sure that that was okay with the council on there. Do we, I don't recall, I guess I don't drive by there or pay much attention, but do we have lights yes. on there? Okay. Mm -hmm. I just never pay attention to it, I guess. Yeah, there are lights that shine up. Okay. They're not super bright, but they are. They do shine. Yeah, and if we do put a flagpole up on both sides, I definitely would like to have a spotlight on yeah. both of them so it could be up constantly yeah. and look nice. And I don't know if council wants to put a, two poles up for the Kansas flag as well or just start with the American flag. No. And I'm, I know I talked to John about it. I don't know if you need to stagger them a certain way if the American flag is always on. American yeah. flag always has to be on top and then followed by the state flag and then any other. Okay. But right or left, I didn't know. Oh, they had um, to be on the I think. Well, of course, the American flag has to be in the middle. I think the state flag has to be on the right, and any other flag has to be on. Uh, okay. Right. The left there, so. Okay, but like I say, if it comes to the getting to the flag part of it, which would be really nice, I think, even if we had something for Memorial Weekend, mm -hmm. and we were planning on doing this before Memorial Weekend, so it looked really nice. Get graduation over. We won't have the water out there by then. No, <laughs> and that's fine. You know, maybe I can ask Bob Eyes to. Well, Barry's been, you know, Barry's been fighting that out there for years, and just, you know, it, it's the same thing that, you know, it just gets so hot off of those bricks and everything, and there's no water out there. So that that will help, but uh, it, it just cooks it out there. So. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. There's <coughs> oil out there. It's actually on the north side. There's no vent, there's no nourishment. The plants call to get at it, dig it all out and put it right on the bottom of the bodies to go right to your time. Okay. And it's like a low furnace, you know, and the wind's constantly blowing this out all the time. Right, right. Okay. Well, we'll see what we can come up with. So, all right. Thanks, Council. Thank yeah. you. I didn't have anything to report. Bob, you said you had something. St. John's School. Oh, yes. They called me and wanted to know what's the situation on the mulch and the dirt out to the city dump. Is that free to... That not The dirt out there is for, you know, when we, we do dirt work. We have some dirt we give away down there at the power plant, but I don't, what do they, what's, what do they want They're to do? They want to put some kind of an organic garden around the sign below the, up here at the high school, what I understand. And they need dirt and some mulch. We've got both out there that they can have. We, we, can, we can deliver them some dirt. You can take them the dirt? We, yeah, I mean, how much are they asking for? A bucket load? Or? No, I don't know what it is. Yes. I haven't got to scoop those yet. Okay, um, Mr. Meyer? I, I don't know how much we're talking about. I think we're, uh, it's Mrs. Benke is and Mr. Cooper are working on that. So yeah. it's not going to be a, I a think a yeah. loader for them, I don't think. So I'm just stuff. saying if, if, if she would contact me, if you guys approve, we can help them if that's all they're wanting. So we can. Okay, would you get the message to her to contact me? Yeah, <laughs> 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 Okay, Jubilee update. I think I put a Jubilee schedule in all of your packets. Um, we've had, we have a couple of more things to get on there. I don't have finalized times. Um, we're always needing uh, volunteers, and this year is no different. Um, Bingo seems to be one that we have a, a particularly hard time finding volunteers for, so if you know anybody who's interested in that, um, be sure and give us their name or have them give us a holler. Um, I think it's quite a bit of fun, but it is 
a time commitment and, and um, we can sure use anybody's help. Um, also, the CIC support contract, I didn't have it in your packets. I didn't have it prior to packet time. It's what we have done in the past every year. This is our, our uh, software support. It's $125 higher this year than it was last year. And um, if you would consider that this time, otherwise I can put it in your packet for next time. The total amount was $4,005. And we budget for that. And this is the software that runs utility billing, payroll, check writing, everything. payroll, everything. Would you like a motion? I would like a motion to approve the contract at the amount stated. So moved. A second. 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 <laughs> is there any further discussion? Being none. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. And I don't have anything else at this time. Don? Uh, legislature goes back in session tomorrow, so no one's safe until the end of probably the end of next week. Uh, most of the bills have been that have a vital interest to the cities have been buried and or off the calendar. So the league has managed to do their job, you know, ones that are first to the cities. And, but that doesn't mean that anything can happen in the last seven days. They can, they've been known in the past to take a bill and get it out and put provisions they want to pass in the bill. So nothing is safe until they the last day. But I would, uh, you might, Keep close to your computers, except for Bob. <laughs> and uh, uh, John uh, might have a hot, hot mail to you uh, about if there's an issue coming up that we need to address. But other than that, that's all I have. Uh, new business. We pulled um, appointment of what's titled mayor's appointments for the municipal judge, the public health officer, and the city attorney and planning commission off the consent calendar because I would like to at least give council the opportunity to have a discussion if they'd like to before I just arbitrarily make appointments. So we are looking at, for municipal judge, Emerson Shields, for public health officer, Doris Tompkins, city attorney, Don Knappenberger, for the planning commission and board of zoning appeals, Marshall Sanders, Mary Peshka, and Carl Bear. Is there any discussion on these appointments? Well, if you have, uh, well the executive session I want to call kind of has to do with this, I'd like to discuss okay. that before we do anything. Okay, and can I have a motion to go into executive session for 15 minutes to include mayor and council only? Mm -hmm. So moved. Second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Who wants to? Personal. Non elected personnel? Uh, yes. No. If it's. Well. Oh, yes, does that work the same? Okay. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The appointments for a municipal judge. Public Health Officer and City Attorney until the next meeting. And I need a motion to do that. So moved. Second. Um, or is there any further discussion? Being none, all those in favor, aye. Aye. All those opposed? <coughs> motion carried. I would like to go ahead and appoint, at this time, appoint Marshall Sanders, Mary Peshka, and Carl Baer to the Planning Commission and Boarding, Board of Zoning Appeals. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. 
Who's the third one? I got Marshall, Mary, and Carl Bear. Carl Bear, thank you. Okay, moving on to old business. Library funding. Mr. Meyer? I've got uh, some information for you here. Uh, first of all, thank you, Mayor and Council, for allowing me to speak here tonight. Uh, a lot of this information is what you've, uh, if you've been on the Council, uh, what you've seen before. Uh, the issue is our, our library funding. And I'm not going to read all of this to you. A lot of this information is the same. Some of it is updated a little bit. Um, but the, uh, the graphs kind of tell the tale there. What we're looking at is uh, the people that use the, the library and the hours that the library is open is about a 50-50 split between uh, school use and general public use. Now, our kids use that after school hours and on, on the weekends. And, uh, so it's, it's a good educational tool even outside of the regular school day. Uh, the school district also uses a lot of the facility for uh, additional office space for special education, uh, after school programs, some of those things. Uh, and the issue is the funding balance on the bottom of the page there kind of gives you a representation of the percentage of the funding that you can see about three quarters of the expenses are paid by the school district. Um, so we're a little out of line there. Uh, so what we've uh, proposed is, is increasing the contribution from the foundation. So on the second page there where it says proposal, What the school board and, and I'm asking for is increased contributions from the city and the foundation also. The foundation board has agreed uh, to additional funding. Their number has been about $25,000 uh, each year. And that fund has grown over the years. And that, that money was not put there to grow. That money was put there to use. So, They've agreed to use those funds and use that investment growth uh, to help out with that uh, funding. So they've increased the contribution by about 15000 If the city could chip in a little more, uh, right now it's roughly 18000 is what the city's contribution is. If we could bump that up to 25000 that would put the district covering about 62% of the cost. I don't think it's going to be a 50-50 share or anything like that, or ever be to that point. Um, but we can't raise additional funds. We have to cut back on funds in order to pay for these things. Here's an example of what we're looking at for our budget for next year. We know we're going to have about $64,000 in additional expenses. and no additional funding from the state. That's where we get our money. Now, budget-wise with enrollment things, we, we, we're probably looking at an additional 29000 So how do we make up that 64 and 64000 extra expenses with 29000 in additional revenue? Well, we have to make cuts or fund additional revenue. With this, from the library uh, board and the city, would get us closer to filling that, that budget gap. And we're doing other things as well to, uh, to make ends meet. Uh, but proposing this is, a, I think, a first step in, uh, in bringing that more in line. I'm not asking for any action tonight, but consider that in, uh, when you're building your budget for, for next year. Uh, you know, I know you guys will be doing that starting very soon, and, and as will we at the school. So uh, I'm asking you to consider an increased contribution there. The other pages there, I'm not going to go over all of that. This was more for the foundation. And then on the back side was library expenses, uh, itemized and, and estimated. Some of those are difficult to, to come up with uh, 
for custodial services we have we don't pay a custodian just to take care of the library so we kind of have to prorate that out to see what the library expense actually is so you know, the bulk of the expenses uh, is in personnel costs that's a good chunk of it. every hour we have that place open is personnel costs utility costs so I would entertain any questions or people you get employed at the library? Five. We have a full-time librarian. We have a full-time, um, and when I say full-time, we're talking 35 hours a week library clerk. And then we have two to three other library clerks, depending on staffing um, for the summer. Part, part -time. And then they're all part-time. Yeah. <laughs> so that 47,200 is divided by another three. shift in thinking we're not just paying for materials out of that, that education foundation money. We're going to pay for operational expenses as well, pay utilities and personnel costs and those things. So it, it's been kind of a struggle with the library board and uh, foundation folks to think about the library as it, it's not the city's part over here and the school's part over here. It's all one. And all of these funds need to be treated that way. All, all of the money needs to be treated that way, in my opinion. I think we're kind of getting there. And when you walked in the door at the library, which I don't do very often, do you have to buy a library card? No, it's free to everybody. It's free to everybody. Except to you. They provide their computer stations <laughs> in the library that the community can come in and use. Same I know thing, we have, don't have that many photo books there. community members that are coming in and doing schooling online in the library, that type of thing. Um, it is heavily used by the community. The way I look at it, I, I guess I'm still fairly new here, uh, but I see that as a facility that is, is a great facility for the school. And we could never afford to do that without the help from the foundation and the city. And from the city's perspective, we can never afford a facility like that and, uh, on their own. So together we can, I think we make it work and everybody gets an excellent facility. So I think it's a great, a great library. It's a jewel of this community, I think. We just can't afford to foot and 75% of the bill, or 74%. You've seen Stafford's library, right? I've not been in. I have to go check it out. So I just ask you to consider that in your, in your budget discussions. And, and, uh, be 
be glad to come back and visit if, if you need me to. So thank you for your consideration. Thank, thank you, Mr. Thank you. Meyer. Okay, last item on the agenda is the FATS memorial. Is there anything that they do? <coughs> For the newbies on the council, can somebody catch us up on what this is? It was really something that Jill was contacted about. And they wanted to do something in the park. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Yeah, they wanted to put a park beach in the park or in the square, and they wanted to, uh, if I remember right, they had something to do with Dr. Potter and they had some hunting things on it, but they wanted to more of a memorial type thing. And I think it, grant. Yeah, it was a granite type bench and everything, and more of a memorial type thing, and there was concern on the council as far as, uh, you know, as far as making that more of a memorial park over there rather than just a park. You know, you, this could turn into something that, you know, would be you know, utilized quite a bit, and that I don't think, from my recognition or remembrance of it, was that the council was hesitant to do that. So. Uh, I think Jill got back with them, and I, I don't think they contacted her. So. Yeah, I was thinking they were supposed to get some more information yes. or something. And, uh, would it, would, no one's heard anything back. Would right? it make sense at this time to remove the item from old business, and if they were to approach again, then it could become an item of new business? Mm -hmm. Can I have a motion to that effect? So moved. Okay. Second. Okay. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Uh, aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Being there no further business, I would appreciate a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried.